Yeah, I'm looking at this as a, a whole new chapter in my life. The, the Wolf Slayer, uh, Anthony McGann, the management, and Mario Sukata, unbelievable coach. The boxing, the boxing coach there is brilliant. Um, but this is just now a new chapter in my life, and I'm looking at the whole thing in a different way, even my mindset as opposed to the fighter. And I think it's good with mindset-wise. I always have to be a kind of angry fighter. It suits my style. I'm still going to be that same explosive, that fighter that everyone expects to see on the night who's going to come out a million mile an hour, apart from the one lost Marcus. Um, so I'm still going to come out a million mile an hour. It's just I might have a few new, few new ways about me that people might be surprised a little bit. Maybe I get myself a bonus because of one of these. There is roughly 200 of my friends coming down to support me. Which is going to be cool, big scouse army all cheering for me. Uh, I can see my baby more. Usually when I when I go away, I'm out the way. I, I, I move out for camp anyway. I move out for um, each fight. So I don't see my baby all week until a Sunday. Because I have to train even on a Saturday. So if this time I can, um, I can see when I'm really up. Because like when you cut weight, you have to remind yourself what it's all for, what, what the importance of, of what you're doing is for, you know, and what it means to you. And that's why I refuse to lose. I literally refuse to lose. And in, in the last fight with Rolly, Rolly had my arm, and it popped it twice in the last round. And I, and I, I was lit, I was in, I, th I thought it was in the move for like 20 seconds. Um, I thought it was in the arm bar for 20 seconds. I felt it pop. And then all these thoughts are rushing through my head and like the main thing, the main thing is the baby, you know, and from this, I mean, I can't be the right, I'm not the cleverest person in the world. So from this, where do I go? This is my one opportunity to make something for my family. And that's all the inspiration I need. So when I'm losing weight and I'm down, you know, I'm always kissing, me. I've got a set of rosemary beads away for the fiber to penny on the back of the baby. I'm always kissing them and that reminds me, you know, um, this is what it's all for, this is what it's all for, for the Bab and, and your family and your future. If, you, if you've been in that position, if you've been in that, that low, you've got to stay positive. If you've been that low, you dad it dad, dad, dad at home to, to any other fighter who's been there, you know. Do you think that adds any extra pressure to you though, having, having all your mates there and your family and everything, so, and, you know, being so close to home? Here's the thing about my mates, I used to always fight out of town because Liverpool is a a very, you know, homely, but homely place. But people only want to see you lose if they're not your friends. Um, where now, I've been, I've got these group of friends that have been made to it since I was like seven, and they're the same group of friends we've done, been through everything together our whole lives, which means a lot in Liverpool to have your good friends. No one's a rat, no one's a dog, um, and you could literally put them. If they were there, every time you see me fight, you'll see me walk out normal, and then you'll see me, and I'm looking around everywhere, looking around, and then as soon as you see me, mate, you'll see me go, oh, fucking come on, and that just gives me that, Woo! and you can literally put the devil there in front of me, yeah, the devil, and I will come out, and I will try my very, very best to knock the devil clean out, you know, um, and that's another thing with the, with the Marcus fight. I never seen them. Ever, ever in that fight was meant to was was made for me to lose. I fought for the, the middleweight, for the like now middleweight. That's some weight, um, the middleweight title in Swansea. And I come out and the crowd was spitting at me, calling me for everything under the sun. And I'm just walking out with my head down to fight the champ for the title. And. Uh, and I'm looking, at, I'm looking around thinking, where are you, lads? Come on. <laughs> I need a bit of back up here. And I got to the front, and these same group of lads had travelled all the way down there. It's like seven hours drive or something. Um, and we're just standing on the chairs, didn't give a shit what everyone else was doing around them. Come on, Paul! And I looked at them and, come on, the scouts, there's the boys. That's it, I got in and I destroyed them. And you know, it's the, 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 your, friends, your friends and family are so important in MMA. I'd feel sorry for anyone who goes it alone, you know. So this is my family crest. Um, the Kelly family crest, it's Irish. Um, with the liver bird on the top, which was like a green dragon. So I switched that and put, a, put the liver bird. Because so, I'm proud to be a Scouser. 
and that says God is my fortress. But that's that's what it was. That's the Kelly family crest, the Irish, the Irish the heritage. <laughs>